Here's a reminder that number four, Hillbilly's a good one, has raced since uh, programming. He raced on August 10th at Marion and was a winner in 206 and 3 for Dave Martin on a good track. Here are the starters for race nine. Number one, Plesak, owned by Dick Baylog of St. Charles, John Bootenshain, the trainer, Jim Curran, the driver. Two, Source, of course, owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Springfield, trained and driven by Jerry Logan. Three, Scotch Peak, is owned by the American Trotting Stable of Coral Springs, Florida, trained by Steve Waller, Joe Anderson, and the bike. Four, is Hillbilly's a good one, owned and trained by Dave Martin of Greenville. He's the driver. Five, Bill Source, owned by Candy Schooley and Nate Scholler of Mayfield, Kentucky, trained by Candy Schooley, Neil Coleman, and the bike. Six, A.J. Sammy, is owned by Sam Lilly of Downers Grove and Ron Gregerson of St. Louis, Missouri, trained by Jerry Hansen, Tony Morgan, and the bike. Willie Select, number seven, is owned by Ray Hanna of Altamont and by Dick Corson of St. Peter. Hanna trains and Dale Heitman will drive. Scratch the eight, Holly Hill High. Post time in three minutes, three minutes to post. Here they come. They're off and trotting. There goes Bill Source for the lead. Plesak is right there toward the inside. Hillbilly's a good one, gets out trotting in third. Scotch Peak comes away, racing in fourth. Source, of course, is off stride. A.J. Sammy moves up in fifth around Source, of course, and Willie Select moves up a spot from last around the first turn. Plesak moves up the rail, takes the lead by two. Bill Source drops in second by two and a half. Scotch Peak third. Hillbilly's a good one fourth. The opening quarter, 27 and four fifth seconds. A.J. Sammy trotting in fifth. Willie Select is sixth. And Source, of course, is off stride, trailing the field. Plesak has the lead by two lengths, trotting down the back stretch. Bill's Source is second by nearly three. Scotch Peak is third by three and a half. Hillbilly's a good one, goes fourth. A.J. Sammy sitting patiently against the rail in fifth. Willie Select a couple of more lengths behind him as they move by the half in 56 and two fifth seconds. Source, of course, the distant trail. Plesak at the entry to the far turn. He's on top by three lengths. Bill's Source is second by six. And Scotch Peak is third. And he's got better than ten lengths to make up on the leader. And they're midway on the final turn. A.J. Sammy moves up a spot into fourth. Around Hillbilly's a good one. And then Willie Select. And Plesak has that three-length lead at the three-quarter mile mark. And Bill's Source is still giving chase. Three-quarters and one twenty-five and two. Plesak moves off the far turn. He leads it by three. Bill Source is second by eight. Scotch Peak is off stride moving off the turn. That allows A.J. Sammy to move up into third. Plesak in the stretch on the lead by four. Bill Source is second. A.J. Sammy a distant third. It is Plesak coming to the line. Chased by Bill Source, but no catching Plesak, who hits the wire in 153 and three, and he won it by three lengths. Bill Source was second, and A.J. Sammy was a very distant third. Ed Teefy, report to the reviewing stand down trackside, please. Ed Teefy to the reviewing stand down trackside. Well, 153 and 3, folks, is a fast trotting mile for Illinois Breds. Now, the amazing thing is, it might surprise you, this is not a stakes record. It just misses the stakes mark by a fifth of a second. Stakes record is held by Champion on Ice. Champion on Ice is also the fastest Illinois Bred trotter ever at 153 and 1. But what we can tell you is, that by uh, nearly three full seconds, let's say by better than two full seconds, you're looking at the fastest three-year-old trotting stud colt ever bred in Illinois. 153 and three, Polisak. Some of you might remember that Gamby's big boy set the former record for sophomore trotting colts of 156 here at the summer preview back in 1990 for driver Michael Cox. So a 10-year-old Illinois-bred record is wiped off the books here today with that performance by Plesak, who is owned by Dick Baylog of St. Charles, Illinois, trained by John Bootenshain and driven by Jim Curran. Six wins at 11 starts this year, 14 wins lifetime. 
And now you know why John Butenshain spoke with such confidence it was justified. Congratulations, Mr. Butenshain and Polisak. Let's go down to Ed Teefee, who's standing by with trainer John Butenshain. Ed? Thank you, Kurt. With me, John Butenshain, who trains a Polisak, now a winner this year of over $190,000. John, you've got a lot of confidence in this Colt. Tell us a little bit about the year. Uh, it's been a fantastic year. It's just been a great ride with this Colt. He makes my job and my life easy. <laughs> he doesn't do nothing wrong. He's uh, been a treat. Uh, this mile, only a fifth of a second off the stake record here. And this horse uh, earlier this summer was third beaten less than two lengths by Yankee Peco, who went on last week to win the Million Dollar Hamiltonian. Where do we go after the Illinois State Fair? Of course, we got the final next week. You're going to be a prohibitive favorite here, and we wish you the best. But where after the Illinois State Fair do you go? Well, we got the American National and the World Trotting Derby coming up. Uh, and so I told Jimmy today, he said, if he feels good, he warmed up good. I said, we're going to have to go a big mile if we're going to be competitive in the World Trotting Derby. Just let them roll, see what we can do. If we can get a record on them, that'd be great. We come close to a better record than what I had hoped for. Um, so we're shooting for the World Trotting Derby is the main agenda down the line. And we don't like to say that we were third beating two lengths to Yankee Paco. We like to say we were the last horse that beat Yankee Paco in our elimination. Oh, congratulations. I'm glad you pointed that out. John Butenshain, the trainer of Plezak, who just won in 53-3. and Thank you, John.